I hope that my story inspire more people around the world to be the change that you want to see around the world. When I came into Haiti, I do believe that was, I thought coming out of my situation was my lowest point, but it wasn't. Stepping foot in Haiti was one of my lowest point in life. Uh, the students, all the, the ones who are there, they just done their exams? Yes. They, it's a test they're doing? Yeah, they're testing them today to see if they yeah. are actually um, qualified mm -hmm. for the work. grade. Uh huh. I was incarcerated for 13 and a half years, guys. I spent most of my 20s behind bars and also most of my 30s. I got out months before my 36th birthday. Greetings, good people. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Port au Prince in Haiti. I was not going to leave Haiti without meeting this amazing, inspiring person because one of the things that I love to do as I travel is also to interact with change makers, business people, people who are creating change in society, people who have inspiring stories so that I can share it with the world and I can share it with you amazing people. So because of this, I decided before I leave Haiti, I have to come to Port-au-Prince to meet these amazing, inspiring young ladies. So come with me and I guess by now you can tell who it is if you've been following me. But in case this is your first time here, my name is African Tigress. I'm a content creator from Kenya in Africa. I love to travel the world. Right now, I'm in one of my favorite countries in the world, Haiti. I've been to over 50 countries in the world and trust me, Haiti is one of my favorite country. So come with me and let's meet this amazing young lady. But before then, please, have you liked this video? Like, share and subscribe. Let's do this. Hello, hello. Hello guys, how's it going? Who do we have here? My name is Marie Sanvelis and I am the creator of Life in Haiti with Marie. Mm -hmm. If you check me out on YouTube. And I am also the leader here to Life in Haiti Learning Center. All right, all right. So what is Life in Haiti Learning Center? Life in Haiti Learning Center is a center that we recently established. We're working. This is the beginning stages. And it is a center that is dedicated to underprivileged children in the community in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. I'm so proud of you because this is not the first time I'm here. Last time I was here, it was just a building that was not even painted. It was, well, that was the dream, but coming here, seeing what you've achieved in two months, I'm super proud of you. I just want to say thank you. All right, so before we get into all that and visiting the school, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself and how did you get to the point of establishing all this? Awesome. Um, if you would like to know a little bit more in detail about myself, you can check me out on Life in Haiti and go back to some of my early videos. However, guys, a little bit about myself, guys. Um, I was returned to Haiti um, June 2019. And if you want to know more about myself, please check me out on Life in Haiti with Marie and check out some of the earlier um, uploads. Since the beginning of coming into Haiti, I've always wanted to make a difference. And I saw the need and I've just allowed myself to be a tool to be used to make a difference within my community. How was it coming back to Haiti at first? Coming back to Haiti was very, very sad for me. Yeah. It was uh, a mystery, of course, because I didn't know what life had to offer. But I wanna say days into being in Haiti, once I got over the initial, um, I am here and now have to live here, 
I knew that um, I wanted to work with people. Yeah. Um, and if I had a chance to work with elders and children, that would be where I would go. Um, to think that looking back now, if I would have accomplished all of this, probably not. I didn't imagine that, but I knew that it would be in this field because this is what I'm passionate about. That's where I, I, I find peace at, and I could be here from six to two in the morning and be happy doing it. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm really so proud of you. The fact that you turned a situation that wasn't really what you thought or what you expected into something beautiful. Thank Maybe you. this is what you are destined to do because this is really beautiful. I'm so proud of you and your team. You've done a lot of amazing work. Thank you so, so much. Um, at times, looking back on my life now, I do say that my return to Haiti had its reasons. And I, it's like I found my purpose in life. I really, really love working with people. I love knowing that I am making a difference. And even though I may not be able, and we know in helping people, you may not be able to change every life, but if we can impact one life, then we've done our part. I've done my part, allowing my story to not be something sad, but to show you that no matter what you go through in life, attitudes, everything, and it's never about your beginning, but the end, but we've yet to see the end here, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just beginning right now. All right, all right. So maybe you can give us a little tour of the property as we talk more about everything else. That's true. So guys, all of this that you guys see, as you mentioned, remember when I remember when you first came here, we barely, we just, I don't even think I had the keys yet, but yeah, I should even have the keys. I you show, had to borrow it from the, yes, owner, from of the, the owner to show you. Yeah. So now um, with uh, everyone who's came together, this, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of where we are at today, okay? All right, first I wanna give them the, the sign that's Life in Haiti Learning Center, Luke 137. What does it say? Everything is possible, nothing is impossible with, with prayer. Uh huh, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. So all I tried, things. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. And that is to encourage them to know that, hey, don't look at your current situation because a lot of the times we have a lot of people who are hopeless here and they're looking at the current situation. But it doesn't matter where we're at in the world, where we're at presently doesn't determine that's not where we're going to be in the future. Yeah. So, and I wholeheartedly believe that with God, nothing is impossible. Um, we had to share it with everyone else. All right. Um, here, mm -hmm, la connaissance is le pouvoir. What does that mean? It is um, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Oh, so it's written here in English. And it is also here in English. Yeah. Um, my hope is in the future as we get more, you know, funding yeah. for us to have the building looking nicer, a lot livelier for the kids yeah. so that um, when they are here, it's a happy environment. And that's kind of what I envision to create for the children. All right. Let's give people a tour of the property. But I was here. Early in the morning, we had some interviews, and I saw it looked like a school that's already running. <laughs> like the teachers, the staff, everything's amazing. Uh -huh. So right here, it will be the kitchen area, yeah. and we still have work that needs to be done. As I mentioned, we are a fairly new charity, so whenever... Slowly but surely, we're getting more and more done. So mm -hmm. the kitchen here, we will end up finishing it. But so far, we've done the bulk amount. Yeah. This building, um, we have this zinc back here because, of course, this is where the heat. heat and grease and stuff like that. So it'll be easily able to be wiped off. And the guys were just trying to be creative right here for them to put. It could be a strainer big spoons, whatever, and the guys also have a few seats so that the kitchen staff can, you know, sit down, take a break. But um, one of the main things I wanted was for us not to be f um, using charcoal. Yeah. 
which promotes cutting down trees. So this was a big accomplishment as well for in the center. Oh, so it's connected to some gas? Yes, um, it is also connected. Um, it can be turned on um, right here. Oh. Um, the line is ran for safety reasons because we're gonna have kids here. Um, the guys came up with the idea where the line is actually underground. Okay. And you see it end up right here. Oh, so this is the gas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. so and these here are some cleaning, cleaning equipment. Supplies. Yeah, cleaning supplies. So would you be offering food to the students? Do they pay for it or is it free? Here is free food. Our goal is to feed the kids every day yeah. for free. Not only are a lot of kids having issues with paying their tuition, but one thing I've seen in Haiti from working with children is that a lot of the kids come to school on an empty stomach. And, I, and you know, kids cannot learn on an empty stomach. They cannot concentrate. And the more we know that a lack of nutrition is really not good for anybody. So imagine children. So one of the biggest goals is for us to offer one meal a day. Yeah. You know, and Lunch. as yes, as we grow, if we can do two, it will be something that we'd be more than happy to do. <laughs> we got light? Is it connected to light? Yeah, I think so. It should, yeah. There's light. Okay. <laughs> so right here is the first grade class. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a big change. <laughs> what? The, the, the board is so cute as well. Uh-huh, the board. And of course, I'm sure next time you visit, it will be more uh, decorative. And um, yeah. It looks nice. The desk, mm -hmm. the desk with the, some storage for their books mm -hmm. and some. This is lovely. Mm -hmm. Wow, so it can sit for, it can sit 16. 17. 17. Um, there's another desk being made yeah. here. Oh, so it can sit 17. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So that's grade one. Uh huh. First grade. Uh huh. Um, we'll go right here. Whoa, excuse me. This here is second grade. Okay. And. Grade two. Mm hmm. There's also a restroom. Oh, they have a restroom. Uh huh. Right here. Okay. That um, will be between this class. I'm not sure. Uh -huh, the on the other side as well. Ah, oh, so it's shared with other class. Mm hmm So they will share restrooms right here. And they have storage. Uh huh. And they have the storage. For their books. You know, for their books and whatever the professor needs to store. This here is third grade. Okay. And the same thing here is the storage um, board. Oh, right here is where it was locked at. But yeah, and this is the restroom. Right here is kind of like a little escape. Oh, um. little place for them to play. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why they didn't just extend the house, which the, the room's bigger. bigger and no, if they extended, it would be too dark. It so would? I think it's for the lighting. That the they window. did? Oh, yeah. okay, so okay. If they extend it, there'll be no light. Very yes, very getting here. Yeah. And right here, it's locked. I don't have the key, yeah. but right here, whoa, it's not. You guys have it open. Okay, oh. right here is where you know, the guys have the extra materials, some of their equipment, generator. some stuff that we have, and also the generator because there's times when we do not have electricity, then we will have to provide our own electricity yeah. because we do have, I'll take you up, we do have another class up there, okay? Oh, okay. We have a computer class. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. But don't you think the generator will be too 
Um, of course, we would not have it turned on right here. Yeah. It will be. Um, we'll move it. Yeah, we'll probably put it somewhere outside here. <laughs> this is the fourth grade class. Okay. Where um, we will have our fourth graders. Also, uh, back here is the kitchen area, the indoors kitchen, because even though we have an outdoors kitchen, we still need Indoor. one for indoors. Oh wow, you even already bought the plate. Mm -hmm. You've done an amazing work in a very short, are you, do you see? I don't. Because all this in two months, and I'm sure you are running up to the market buying Yes, all this. running around, and a lot of this comes from our members that actually sent them in. Yeah. But I started calling meetings early and, you know, preparing for what we would need. And of course, these, um, s some of these were, this was a donation, in in house donation from Haiti. Oh. All of these, these we went out and purchased. Um, you know, of course, these dish holders. We also have the, the spoons mm, that are sporks. Yeah. Because I noticed that a lot of the times we'll give spaghetti and kids were struggling to eat spaghetti with their regular spoons. Regular spoons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have here another, uh, oh, yes. yes. And this one's also filled for um, our backup. Wow. And even if, and of course this here is to take the meals. Wow. If, if I am not here and we, they run out of uh, propane gas for any reason, mm -hmm. then um, we just always have a backup because yeah. this one is pretty heavy and it's not gonna be like easy yeah. for them to move it, move it around, yeah. 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 Oh wow, mm -hmm. so first grade to fourth grade sorted. Yes. Who yes. oh, did the art? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is this the uniform color? No, I'll show you the uniform color. This was supposed to be gray and he had gray. We kept telling him that and of course sometimes people in Haiti do, you know? Mm -hmm. and Maybe it's because he thought this is more colorful. For yeah. He had good intentions, so I, I figured not to give him too much of a hard time for that. And she copied my hairstyle. <laughs> She's going to say, my hairstyle's been here longer. You copied me. <laughs> I'm really so, I'm so impressed. Well, thank you. This is, this is like the principal's office where we would receive um, people, mm -hmm. you know, um, staff is Charity, here, yeah. professors. This is our uniform color. Oh, let me see. It oh, is gray, gray and, and yellow. Blue. That's a beautiful combination. Mm -hmm. And to create a business for the school, I made it where it's mandatory that parents purchase uniforms from us. Yeah. That way we can see if we can try to, you know, flip a little bit of the money that the center has. All right. And so far it's doing well because they're buying the uniforms. All right, and what's that? <laughs> and this here is another restroom. Oh, okay. And I'm sure this restroom will be for staff only. Of course. Yes. And you know, I deal with a ton of books, so these are books that we have that um, I do believe, I don't think we're in need of them. Mm -hmm. And right here is files. This is, yeah, this is their area. Um, yeah. We'll organize here a lot more. Um, right here is like a look. Come on, you can come in. It's like a extra little closet area oh, where storage. we can, yeah, we can store stuff that comes in as they come in. 
to make sure that, um, you know, because we'll need storage. You yeah, know, because I'm always encouraging people to send out school supplies and stuff like that, so we will need it. So before I take you up, Right here was, you remember right here was wide open. Yeah, it was wide open. I see you've put some board to cover it. Yes, for one, for safety reasons. You know, yeah. I didn't want kids coming up here and- Falling over. That, that was a huge priority. So we closed this part. Mm -hmm. And now all of this is empty space. Slowly but surely my goal here is to close it. Mm -hmm and create more classes up here. Okay, convert it into a class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, it's a slow process, slowly but surely, as we have the funds available, then, you know, we yeah. do more. So you'll add, so it's currently the school is first grade to first fourth. To fourth grade. And then after that? Um, our goal is to go up to the sixth grade, yeah. where um, from the sixth grade, they end up going off to middle school. So, oh, so junior school ends at sixth grade here in Haiti? Yes, I believe so. So what would happen when they wanna go to senior school? Well, here I've created where on the oh, channel, middle school, sorry, not senior, yeah. On the channel, I've uh, created a program for sponsor a child. Yeah. And the goal for that is I'm asking people to sponsor a child here. Okay. The more kids we can get sponsored out of this school, yeah. the objective for that is to make sure that that child's education continue. Because I know that, let's say, if we aren't able to fund professors for fifth and sixth grade, children from fourth grade will have to go to another school. Yeah. And then their parents would have to pay. And believe it or not, some kids' education may end there oh, because yeah. the parents would not be able to afford to pay somewhere else. But if we have a sponsor yeah. for them, and then that sponsor will continue with that child through life in Haiti to make sure that um, even though they're no longer here at the center, that yeah. their education will continue. All right, all right, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. that's, that's a, good, a good way because a parent who's had their child being fed every day, they know paying, like they literally, how much do they pay per, do they pay? $15 per year. Five, zero? No, no, 15, one, one five. five. That's like mm -hmm. 1,000, almost 2,000 good. Yes, 2,000 good. Per year. Per, per year, per year, so it's like five. So how are you able to pay the staff? Um, through the contribution of people from the channel. Okay. So this, why the, this is the Life in Haiti Learning Center. Yeah. Um, from the people that follow me, we've created a, a group in the background. Yeah. And of course, when I'm doing lives and whether if it's an upload, continue to ask people to contribute to make sure that this program will continue. Okay. And is there a way we can, you can think we can make it more sustainable, like the school to be able to, I don't know, just thinking how sustain to itself. sustain itself. That is our goal, yeah. is that we create a business mm -hmm. so that the school will eventually be able to sustain itself. Okay. But because of our location being way on the inside in certain situations, that's why we haven't really focused on taking that big leap. Yeah. But that is something that we are, um, we have in the works. All right. Mm -hmm. And our first uh, thing right now is selling the uniform. So uh -huh. I don't know. I'm not going to share the idea, but I do have an idea of oh. what we can do. Library. Uh huh. Right here is is another restroom here. So when kids are up here, mm -hmm. they do not have to go down. Go down. Yeah. And of course, I wish this room was a huge room like a library. You yeah. know, but one of the main purpose for this is 
number one, I want to give a big shout out to to my sister um, Ketia that sent in these books. A lot of kids in Haiti are not reading. And reading is not being promoted. So we want to make sure to promote reading. And that is why. Um, and she is one that's passionate about kids reading in Haiti. And she finds all of these books, English, Creole, all different books. And she is the one that sent them to us and to make sure that each class will have time where they come in check out books, and um, be, so we could promote reading. So are the books only in English or English and Creole? Uh, do they learn in Creole or French in school? I want to say both, because now we have some curriculum that's in French and some that's in Creole, and we also have a English teacher, and it will be mandatory that every child here learn to speak English. Okay, so English is mandatory in the school. English is mandatory here. You know English here, I do believe that um, it, it enables you to do a lot more Business. than when you don't. Yeah. Um, some of the books are yeah. in French. Or Centre de la mm -hmm. And some of them are in um, English, of course. Woohoo, baby. <laughs> So we have French, and I know that some of them are also in um, Creole, too. Some of them are in Creole, but we do. We have a yeah, lot Creole that mm -hmm, that is in French for the kids, so that way they are able to read, read in French, yes. Right here, I want to say, is one of our... Um, I want to say most invested in classes. And see this, I want to guess. Uh, oh. Yes. So you got a computer room? Uh huh. We have a computer room here. And yeah. we also have a computer teacher. This class is sponsored by the Bassett family, specifically in memory of Marie Bassett. The next time you come here, you'll see it's a lot more decorative, but I want to thank the Bassett family for making this class possible in Haiti for the children. Oh, wow. And also we do so have... So they got all these laptops? Yes, one family donated all of these laptops. Nice. And not only that, even these um, oh. extensions, all of these are donated by members of Life in Haiti as well, down here, mm -hmm. uh -huh, to make sure that every one of them is plugged. Everything here uh, is generous contribution of the Life in Haiti family and everyone else who um, have donated towards Life in Haiti. So how does one become part of Life in Haiti family? <laughs> Um, get in contact with me. Some people may want to assist, but then don't want the commitment. If you want the commitment, then you get in touch with me, and then we build from there. If you would like to assist, there are several ways. Yeah. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so if you donate to Life in Haiti, you are able, you, know, you are tax deductible to the extent of the law. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you're also registered in the U.S.? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And right here, it's probably a mess, so don't talk about me, guys. <laughs> but right here is my little safe haven where I actually um, do all of my thinking. This is the your office. <laughs> yes. So it's called the director's office, founder's <laughs> office. Yes. And this is also um, donated by, you know, our members of Life in Haiti. And I know people may not want me saying their names, but um, and because everyone is appreciated, guys. Yeah. And yeah. I just want to thank you all. So when you see all of wow. this. So this, does that mean you'll be giving pens and sharpeners and Every year everything for free? 
Every every year we do, yes. So oh, there's wow. material. The okay. kids will also have access Girls to. Mm -hmm. Are these books? Yes. Are they like writing books or what? Uh huh. They are um, composition books, mm -hmm. um, wide rule paper, uh -huh. just different types of paper. We have chalk, erasers. Um, My goodness, you rulers. Have done a lot. You <laughs> well, have done a lot. I'm gonna tell you, all of this comes from me um, saving as well. You know, um, a lot of. Over the years, yeah. people have sent out material, and you know, you you see, you you guys, those who follow me on Life in Haiti, see me. We do a lot of giveaways. We always giving, but in the back of my mind, mm -hmm. I always knew at that we would one day have something of our own, yeah. and I always had that that reservation not to just give everything away and two i've noticed that some of the giveaways we've done um some of the things when you give it to the schools and some of the schools will actually use it for their own personal things oh, and instead of giving it to instead of giving it to the kids so i quickly caught on to that and said okay so since my peoples are working hard and they donate this I'm gonna make sure to, you know, take care of it to the best of my ability. And we also have like these for their boards. Mm -hmm. It's a whole pack. Oh yeah, I see them. Yeah, pack of them. They're big, you know, yeah. for the teachers, for the class. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> you have done an excellent job, an amazing <laughs> job in a short duration. And um, I'm so I'm so proud of you. I'm really so 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 proud of you. And if you're watching these and you wanna support her, I'll definitely put the link. If you wanna support children in Haiti to learn, you know, you can adopt a child like to support the education and all that. She's doing an excellent job. She's Thank you. how do I put it? Uh, Marie is one person that's very, I don't know what's the term, like she's there, like she's very compassionate, that's it. Yeah, she's very, very compassionate. This is my second time here and I really had to see the progress and I'm so impressed. Thank you. And thank you for all that you're doing for Haiti. Thank you. So maybe your last words and any other thing that you'd love to share and maybe just give yourself a little promotion. First, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching, for sharing, and definitely for liking. I hope that my story inspires more people around the world to be the change that you want to see around the world. When I came into Haiti, I do believe that was, I thought coming out of my situation was my lowest point, but it wasn't. Stepping foot in Haiti was one of my lowest point in life. And I remember the first 72 hours I questioned, what was I in Haiti to do? Like, what was I gonna do? But in the process, be obedient, because I needed to be obedient and listen to God and let him take the lead in my life. So in being the change that you want to see in the world, guys, in your community, be obedient. And do what you love doing as well. Maybe this is my calling. Maybe this is what I enjoy doing, but maybe... You are doing in the medical field. You are in a different field that you're passionate about. I hope that my story inspire you to take that leap. Don't wait on when you have a ton of followers. Don't wait on when you have a ton of money to do it. If it is positive, take that first leap. If you would like to support Life in Haiti, which we do need your support, I'm sure um, AT would share the links if you want to follow me more, please do so on Life in Haiti with Marie. All right, without going into details, uh, without really going so much into details, you, I know there's people who'd watch me, they've probably never seen uh, or seen your channel. Without going into details, which if they want, they can go deeper on your channel to find out more. When you say coming out of your situation, what was the situation? 
I was incarcerated for 13 and a half years, guys. I spent most of my 20s behind bars and also most of my 30s. I got out months before my 36th birthday. I'm not gonna tell you guys how old I am. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> but I am 40 years old, so I'm just really starting to live uh, in my purpose. I'm just really starting my life over. And I just feel that um, it is my duty to pay back. So this is my second chance. And I do believe that that's why I'm so passionate about what I do, because it is my second chance at so life. So five years in Haiti now. Yes, it is June the 4th of this year, made it five years that I have been in Haiti. All right, all right. For more details, go check out our YouTube channel. And Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope it inspired you and you learned something new. Go support a sister here. She's always there. She's only like a message away. So there's various ways you can contact her. They are all in her platform. I'm definitely leaving the link in the description below. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you in the next episode. Until then, Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs>